I see you're new here. We've got questions. Well, out of it. A little bit worried, a bit disturbed. What is your problem? Oh, this village. The one we've just burned. The one we've murdered. Yes, I am not afraid to use that word. We have murdered all their females, all their children, in addition to all the warriors. Does that disturb you? Maybe it should. For they are orcs. Orcs are disturbing. Orcs are terrible. Orcs are a blight on this world. They are not compatible with us. There is nothing they can teach us. There is nothing we can gain from trade with them. They have no art, no culture worth mentioning. They are orcs. They are there to be destroyed. The world will be a better place when they are gone. You seem to think this is bad in some way. Our gods demand it. There is no accord or space in the celestial realms between for our, both our gods and the orcish gods. The orcish gods are mad. They are insane. They are the embodiment of madness and insanity and have been, since, been so since the start of creation, where they apparently fought with the elven gods and apparently lost and and so it is right to strike them down our gods demand it if you have a problem with that aspect but maybe I should direct you to the priests maybe they can show you the relevant passages quote the relevant scripture which says that the orcs should be destroyed they should not they should not be tolerated. They should not be suffered to live. Or maybe you have some bizarre social notion that maybe orc lives matter too. They don't. They are a blight. They exist for war and conquest. They are directed by their gods to kill us, to destroy us. There will be no peace between us. No peace between human and orc ever. Our gods demand that they die. Their gods demand that we die. Who side are you on anyway? So that is why we kill them. And I have seen them at war. I have seen... I have fought them. I have fought them for years. That there is no pity. There is no... Truce. There is no agreement. They will break agreements. They will betray us. They will stab us in the back. They have done so in the past. Many fools have often thought, oh, maybe there can be a treaty. Maybe there can, we can draw a line somewhere. And the orcs will stay on their side and we will stay on ours. No, that never works out. It never happens. They always betray us. They always expand. They breed faster than us. They outbreed us. They expand. If they are not exterminated to the last orc, they will rebuild. They will regrow. And ten years down the line you have another horde that you have to deal with it is best to kill them all now but maybe you have some other objection maybe you pretend that tend to think that they have a culture they have, they have a civilized they have no civilization look you you you've probably seen their hovels and their huts they barely know how to build it is a mockery of civilization it is a mockery of our own buildings, our own constructions. They only make things for war. They know only two things, fucking and fighting. So, there is no culture, there is no orc culture, there is no orc art, no orc poems. They do not write epics or songs. They do not paint. They do not construct grand buildings or statues. There is nothing. There is only war, the artifacts of war, and crude customs to make more orcs so that there will be more warriors. So, yes, they, there is nothing. There is, there is nothing we can trade with them. It's not like, they're not like dwarves, where we can actually trade artifacts. We grow a lot of food. We are very good at growing food. That is what humans are good at. 
We can grow food. We can feed the dwarves. The dwarves can supply us with tools, weapons. They're, wonder, they're wondrous mechanical devices that make our lives so much better and easier. Every windmill you see is a dwarvish construction. That is why we have treaties with dwarves. And we can make treaties with dwarves. For we can give them food, they can give us things. We can also have treaties with elves. For the elves only want to stay in the deepest, darkest parts of the forest where we cannot get to. And they also are very good at keeping the horrible creatures that live in there at bay, or at least tamed, or at least contained in some weird elvish way. And we can supply we can supply them, we can make we make roads, we make safe ways for them to get from their one holy bizarre site to their next holy site. And that is all they care about. And they can hold some of the monsters that threaten us at bay. So there is some treaty with elves. There's nothing with orcs. Orcs only know war. Well, we humans already know war very well. We are good at it. And the main reason we are good at it is because we, that is what the orcs have taught us. They have taught us how to fight, how to kill, how to slaughter. Because in the end, it will be either them or us. And I intend that it is us. Thank you.